In this problem, we have three logarithms, and we have to combine them into a single logarithm. So we have to write it as a single log uh, with one as the coefficient. So our final answer has to look something like log base a of some, some stuff, something like this. All right, so we're going to use a couple properties here. So the first one basically says whenever you have a plus like this between two logs, uh, it's just going to become a single log. So all of this will become log base a of, and then it's just x times y. Okay, so you just take this and it just becomes a single log. And that's actually the property, right? This is actually the rule. If you have log base a of x times y, it just becomes the sum of you know these two logs. And this one here hangs out minus log base a of m. The next property we're going to use tells us how to deal when we're subtracting logs. I'll write it over here. If you have the log base a of, say, a, uh, I mean, not use a, <laughs> x over y, this is called the quotient rule. This becomes the log base a of x minus the log base a of y. So the fraction turns into a subtraction. So here um, we have the subtraction turning into a fraction. So we're going backwards. So it'll become a single log. So log base a of, and it's just the first piece that goes up top. So x, y over, and then uh, the, the second piece goes on the bottom. And if you look at it going backwards, it makes a little more sense, right? It's log of the top piece minus log of the bottom piece. And that would be the final answer. It's a single logarithm whose coefficient is one, right? There's a one here. So there's no numbers there. Um, that's basically what they mean by that in the directions. They want to make sure you don't have any numbers there. I hope this video has been helpful.